Thank you for joining me. And uh, you're welcome. So uh, as you can see today, we'll be looking at some skins in the game. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, flag skins first. And uh, once again, my uh, the concept of this is really to uh, highlight some of the awesome creations in the game. Uh, see what the people have been doing with the imagination of the communities. Uh, these skins take a lot of work, and uh, I want to make sure they're all the hard work's been done by their communities are highlighted here, and we can chat about it. So I'm really excited about it. Heck yeah! All right, so uh, first of all, uh, I'm gonna give for those that don't know, this is Game Cow TV. Uh, and I'm Proto League, and we're gonna get this thing started off uh, with the flag skins. So uh, this week, um, I'm gonna double check. I have the right uh, see, but this is the the flag skin page I got uh, here. Is uh, all the new flags, the new captains here. Um, what are some of the skins that stand out to you? We can start with the flags first. Look at the flags. Yeah. And chat, feel free to also let us know. Shout out your favorite flag skins that got released. So that's from A1 to Delta B2. A1 to B2. What are your favorite flag skins of the week? What do you guys like? What do you guys like? Anything catch your eyes right now? I like the, so I'm going to start with the first one. This peach emote is pretty cute here. Uh, I like how they chose a white background. That's really smart of them. Um, it highlights the, the little peach sad face really well. Um, I like, I think this is uh, Melomancy. He's got a really cool emoji as well. And La Rooster, this is a pretty cool, I think. La Rooster also got a really cool uh, flag here, yellow. Uh, Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Cause uh, this is real friends. Yeah, the uh, uh, Piero Jacks. I, I like it. A simple emote can do really well with the flag, especially when it is uh, so far away from um, uh, this battlefield. Sometimes, so uh, you need something that's recognizable uh, from uh, far away. Uh, what do you think about this Pac-Man inspired skin, the flag skin emote, by Red Specter Twenty Three? Yeah, yeah, and it's got some uh, nice blue eyes. Uh, the effects are it's still noticeable from far away. Uh, Child, I'll be zooming in and out a little bit to see see everything. We go closely. Uh, tuna fresh. I'm not sure what this is. Is, is this is this is this a tuna? Is this a fish right here? <laughs> yeah, it is a fish. And speaking of fish, we got another animal here. Ug Haley. Ug Haley. Uh, that's a duck, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. Uh Lady Layana has got a flag out today. Um, you got the, this is one of her emotes. And, and whoa, this is actually kind of cool. I think um, with the some of the backgrounds of flags you select, whether it's the purple one or the light blue one, it allows you to kind of extend through the pixel area, right? So emotes here, and then it's got the little, another shade of uh, pink and purple right there. It's really cool. And... Uh, Right. Yep. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, I know sometimes uh, uh, before communities or streamers select their skins, they go through a huge debate on what color. So uh, make sure you guys do some test runs and try to use Photoshop. Um, Stream Raiders doesn't have a preview ability, which hopefully they do just similar to Nitro in the future. Be cool to just preview your flags 
Or even your head skins, right? They can definitely streamline that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yep. So for those that don't know, we get a flag for every skin thon. So make sure you guys that really like flags and whatnot. Um, it's not just your first unlock, the first 30 SP. You can actually also get skin thons uh, unlocks to get more flags in the game. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go through... Uh, the last one, I think it's a, is it like a zero seven or like a seven here? It's pretty cool. Like Comatius Intent. Is it? Is, what is this? Chat, what is, what is this? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a salute. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. We got uh, Alan GG here and Variety and Kicks. Yeah. Yeah, I love uh, Cupcakes too. Uh, it, it, that one's really cute. We got purple and blue. And even Alan GG's Alan GG ninety nine one that one's really sweet. I like the I like that the details in that uh, in that emote. Sweet. So um, I'm gonna scroll back again. Yeah, go go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. I think that's uh, one thing that you gotta be. Uh, for those creating skins, just be extra careful. Um, sometimes it can uh, it can be just too crammed into the space, right? So, yeah. Alrighty, I'm gonna strike out and let me know. Type in chat. Let me know out of all the flag skins from Alpha One, A One to Delta B Two, Bravo Two. Let me know what is a favorite skin there, and I'll read chat, and then we're gonna do a poll. I'm on the mods gonna do a poll, and see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's likely. Um, for me, uh, yeah, E one catch my eye, G one catch catches my eye. And the cupcake is really good. And Lady Lanya has got a good one too. But type in chat, everyone. Let us know which one you think is the one of the top flags of the week. Let's go. Don't forget, like the, the thing about new affiliates and uh, partners is that um, the first flag is so hard. Like you have to unlock 30 flags to get your first skin. So it's it's a big milestone for new streamers to unlock their first skin. Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh it's just important for support the new streamers out there. So you like L1, you like A1, you like E1. Um Cool. Yeah, let's do a poll. So let's do a poll between um, uh, A1, D1, L1. Can we do a poll between those uh, those three? Uh, whichever mod can do that poll first. Uh, feel free to go ahead, and we will get that uh, get that going. Let's go, Game Cat. How was your day? Nice, nice. Ah. 
I like the. I really like the fact that you got a, uh, uh, your Hap shirt on too. Yes, yes, Hap. I had to go find it. I think I washed it, and that's why I had a hard time finding it. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so everyone, please make sure you guys vote on the your favorite flag skin of the week, and uh, we'll go on there. So and. I think for I just gonna double check here. I think for all the um, uh, head skins here, we actually got uh, only one page here today. So uh, all the head skin starts from another lady cat and it ends on Becca MTBC and Kiza Rinmoon. Just like some of the these captains got a lot of head skin just got has popped up. So I guess they were playing the game for a while and they unlocked, defeated all those bosses and now they. Skins are in the game. No, I love, I love head skins. Like I know, I know some people are against head skins, but I actually like head skins because the simplicity and the uh, they showcase your dedication to playing the game. Since you don't unlock them by purchases, you unlock them by uh, defeating. Is it is it twenty or twenty five bosses every? Yeah, I think it's every every level. I think it's twenty five. Yeah, once you unlock all your head skins, you kind of forget what the requirements are. But um, yeah, I think it's twenty five. I think that that sounds like a better number. So, yeah. but in twenty five bosses, except for those campaigns where there was a boss every other map that the uh, battle that was, if anybody remembers that, that was like a twenty twenty one winter event, if I remember right. Um, like. It's a lot. It's a lot. 25 maps. You know, 25 bosses is 25 chapters, and that's about five hours a chapter. So that's, you know, 125 hours for every head skin. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's definitely a lot of time for the community to drop units in your battlefield and unlock all those uh, head skins. And is there any legendary head skins here, like the ones that unlock two skin and Let's take a look. Did, didn't they stop doing that? Didn't they change that to recover? Oh, uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they did. I, I still got to figure out how we can uh, get a, a vampire head skin. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes me sad because I was, I was like one. I think I have I think I think have a mage and a templar. And so I need, no, I have an orc slayer and, and a templar or a mage. I, I'm missing one of them, and I'm sad that I can't get it now. Yeah. It's, all... it's kind of funny because I think, we're, I, speaking of head skins, I remember I came to your stream one day and then... Uh, I showed you my head skin. <laughs> yeah, you gave me you gave me your head skin. You're like, <laughs> I, I, forget, I forget. It was a bomber. I, it was a bomber head skin. <laughs> yeah, I forget what I said, but I like I like I liked your head skin because it 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 flowed really well with the body. Let's let's pick on. I, I don't want to pick on the head skin itself, Mer, Mercury or Blue at H H three. But can we all admit that the monk head skin is the weirdest one? Like, <laughs> like monk- can we just? Can we just all agree it doesn't line up? Like why why doesn't it line up? Yeah. Like it never like no monk skin lines up with the body. Yeah. I think it's probably a, a pixel error in terms of the <coughs> numbers of pixels on the like it's probably an uneven or odd number that just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a it's a it's annoying. Like, like they're probably like, no, we don't want to, like the staff to cover it. Yeah. The berserker is like a little bit off too. In F three, but not in F, not in A three. Like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so I'm gonna quickly go over the head skins. Um, I think they're all there's some really nice ones, but I think the trick for head skin is that you need to be uh, tied to like good branding with the the streamer community, and also um, how like the how it looks in terms of the pixel because there's. Limited pixels in the, the head skin. One thing that's really cool caught my eye is the is actually F two. This is actually a pretty much a a skull with a, uh, a maybe a Canadian flag or something, a maple leaf here, really cool. Um, and also this little bird eighty four is just super cute. It just it's a really big <laughs> big bird face that covered like almost half the skin. Yeah, it's a it's a bird duck trio face like. Like it's Doug Trio with a bird face on it. That's yeah. what it kind of reminds me of. But um, no, you're right about the whole braining thing. So like, if you look at Witchy Woman Nine Thousands, right? Um, that's like a, 
I guess it's a cat. You could confuse it with a bear from a distance, but I believe that's a oh, cat. Super cute, yeah. With the with the with a little witch hat on it, right? Lord Zaths um, probably makes sense for their stream. Uh, you know, it, it's it's you wanna you wanna be on brand. Uh, unfortunately, like human faces, I find problems them because they start looking all the same. <laughs> Well, this guy looks like Brad, right? <laughs> like some of them just like, hey, uh, it, it, yeah. And like, I think this one kind of looks like Panther Girl too. Like just because it could be anyone, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the downside. Yeah, another cat lady looks very similar to to Panther Gal's head skin. It, when it's a human face, it does it does run the risk of being very similar. Oh, uh, Lord Zap plays Wardle Tanks, and that's. That's probably why that that makes sense. Like, Slay Fams looks kind of like Zealous Zam himself. Like, <laughs> like, and, and I can't I can't unsee it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But if you pick something, in my opinion, if you pick something that's kind of like on brand with you, um, like it it it, it won't look so similar to some somebody else's Slay Zam. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I uh, and I think it's, it's it's really tricky to make a good head skin. And the the thing is that once a head skin's approved, it becomes your your whole uh, head skin set, right, of all units. So. Yep, yep, it's it, and there's no going back. You can't change it once it's there. It's there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like awkward monsters too. It's really cute. It's got a uh, little face here, of some effects up top. So. That's cool. One of these, one of these days, I'm gonna convince them to make them alphabetical because uh, I don't, I don't understand the order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the order at all. It's just all over the place. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like this is a. Uh, I feel bad for the monks here, and uh, no, this is great, great head skins, everyone, and uh, I, I like, I like seeing them. So that's great. I'm gonna go on to the first, the full skin page, everyone. Uh, it's gonna be pretty exciting to see this. This week's newest skins released, the full skins. Oh yeah. So what do you guys, what do you all think? Uh, just what pops up for you initially, and then we go left, we can go through it one by one too. This is a, a manageable list this week. <laughs> So we're going to start saying, uh, I'm looking at D1. I know I'm looking ahead a little bit, but I'm looking at D1. And, and, and it looks like also G1. Um, you're going to start seeing some, some skins that were former pirate skins, J1, uh, come, into the, come into the Stream Raiders, right? You're going to see that for a little while, I, I, I do believe. Because uh, the pirate skins, may, may Stream Pirates rest in peace. Um, were really good. Star, I think, was a uh, was a pirate skin. So you're going to start seeing these pirate skins come in, very pirate themed uh, skins. So right. I, I think we're we're just going to start seeing that kind of like pirate theme. <laughs> yeah, no, these are really cool. I'm just going to read some stuff on chat uh, before we go left to right. But um, we see, uh, yeah, the. So many captains like Garfield and have, have uh, and uh, both you and I have submitted our uh, translated our uh, stream pirate skins to stream raiders, and um, it seems like uh, my star told me in chat that the G two for Ashley is not in the correct form, so we'll get that corrected. Uh, Garfield also really likes uh, Davis Flag Bearer. Uh, Davis Flag Bearer is right. Oh here. yeah, yeah. Cool. Davis has been putting cats in everything, according. Yeah, to some sources. Yeah. So, uh, and a lot. Uh, Baron said A one, K one, and um, uh, G two. Uh, yeah, these are really creative, next level skins, I would say. And um, King Jerry slash Necros also look great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the effects. Um, so yeah, no, these are all great skins this week, and uh, we're gonna go. Uh, after chat, given comment, we go F two in narrow. That's a cool flying animation for sure for narrow wolf. So, yeah, like I think you and memes. This skin is, I think it has to do with a um, maybe a like the concept probably like a ghost or a. Uh, do you know what 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 is it based on? I'm trying to 
I mean, the uh, the its weapons are so the same. It's like a bottle of poison or tonic of some kind, and a glass of wine overflowing. Yeah. Uh, does anyone know what unit this is? By any chance, is it bomber? Hmm. It's holding. T it's holding two things, so it's probably not a bomber. Hmm, yeah. Let me let me pull up the skins. Um, it's a tank. Of, it's a tank. Cool. Wow. Yeah, that's super cool. I I, I like the fact that uh, they got some uh, got some cool effects here, like. Uh, they they actually uh, gave some uh, leeway for captains now for uh, designs because back then they were like oh a tank needs a sword and a shield or something like that and they've given us more freedom on that right so yeah a lot of they they broke the units down to things like um, melee units have to have a melee type weapon um so I'm gonna select Wappy's D one for example because I know they are. The GIF doesn't show the animation, but the website the website does. Wappy's attack actually kind of like the swashbuckler did in Pirates Attacks with the hook and the sword. It's pretty cool. So they've um yeah, they've definitely they've definitely uh relaxed their requirements. Flying units still have to fly. Um most units still have to kind of look humanoid-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like they can't be vehicles unless it's an artillery, I think, still, or yeah. war beasts can be vehicles. But, um, it's yeah, they've relaxed the requirements. It's pretty fun to see to see the skins with the relaxed requirements. It will make PvP hell, but, um, I think they can fix PvP to where it's only head skins if they want to make it super competitive, right? For sure. No, that's uh, it's really, it's really nice. Um, I want to go through Shan Chan. Shan Chan's always have really cool uh, effects and creators for skins. That's uh, probably one of, probably like a, is it a fox or a land? What animal is that? I think it's an alpaca. Alpaca, nice. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the first thing that popped in my head was an alpaca. It's on fire. Yeah. So I kind of like it. It's spicy. Nice. Awkward Monster. This is a really nice skin. I love the, like, this is, Actually, like I want to say, uh, maximizing the pixel space um, and the animation of the eyes also moves. So whenever an, uh, the eyes kind of blink or it does like an effect, it's super cool. And um, yeah, they did a great job. Even the like the details on this, the, the cape at the back, the wand, and um, this is a this is a really nice skin. I like I like yeah. one. I guess is is that a gladiator probably? That's it looks very no, it's a mage. Yeah, mage, mage skin. Cool. Uh, so Wolpy TV, yeah, I think you mentioned it before. Uh, it's it's one of his uh, pirate skins, and I think it used to be is a squash buckler used to be. Yeah, yeah, that used to be that that was similar to Wolpy's squash buckler probably. Right. Um, and but if you look on the website. If you hover over on the website and skin store and look at its motion, it, it attacks like the swashbuckler did. Nice. For those who don't rem who for those who never played pirates or never really looked at the pirate animations, the swashbuckler, um, with it since it had a D-pad like attack pattern, it would it would attack like this basically. Yeah, let me uh, bring it up. Swipe actually. around. Let yeah, me, I'm going to the store and bring it up. It would swipe around, and so Wappies looks as close as you're going to get it with string mirrors. <laughs> different, different animations, different styles. Yeah, because it attack, attacks with two hands. Let me bring it up right now. Let's go. So yeah, they got the game store up right now, and uh, yeah, everyone, just look at the. I just want to show you that little effect here with uh, Wolpy Squash Buckler. It's uh, it does like a double, yeah, both hands attacks pretty much. Look at this, boom. 
towards it's one pretty, of the location. It's pretty cool. Yep. So it attacks kind of like a berserker, but it's a warrior. So it's kind of funny. I love it. Yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, Roman Edges is a is an epic warrior. Um. So that's on the next slide, not this slide. Yeah. That's but... really cool. I'm gonna go back. Proto yeah. Go ahead. I was gonna say let's go back to the other to the slide. Yeah. <laughs> Since they uh the the skins get released um it's not alphabetical but it is it is like a certain order for the units um common units uh uncommon units rare units and then legendary it's just the order that it gets released in in the store yeah, yeah I'm not gonna talk about uh my skins too much but uh, we talked about the G G one was a tran uh, transfer from uh, pirates um. It was going to be my squash buckler, uh, but I changed it to a, uh, a healer. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, kind of made it different, made the lollipop kind of shoot hearts out. Um, and the middle one, the F, F1, F is actually a recolor. So I have the icy penguin, and uh, I decided to make a fiery penguin. So I'm really happy of how it turned out because recoloring is actually really tricky. So for those that unlock a recoloring for the skinathons, it's hard to like just apply a different color and make the skin very different and i think this one they they they, they definitely nailed it like I, we we kept the essence of the penguin but then now it's now it's definitely uh uh you can see it's more of a fire penguin and an ice penguin right so <laughs> that's actually pretty badass i can't lie yeah uh with your pirate skins i guess this is a this is a, a general question when you swap them over to raiders you you swap them, but you still have to use a, an available skin slot, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So they didn't just they didn't just uh, let you swap them over. No, no. And I think um, for those, yeah, like when the game, when the store is live in pirates, did was there actually SPs associated with like pirate skin purchases? That's a that's a question for captains that had skins. I think. <laughs> I think Arrow Garfield had skins. He might know, but he might be getting ready for his stream. Yeah, but yeah, no, it'd be like it just it'd be nice to have those captains that actually sold the pirate skin to be able to. Oh yeah, I think SPs are not done yet, and I know they're refunding all the pirate skin purchases. So. Garfield said there were no for yeah. skin points that yeah. pirates didn't didn't quite have the like their partner program was uh was island based. Right. In the beta, so. They probably kept track of them internally, but didn't have anything official. Right. Uh, I'm going to move on to H1, Jinxie. So that's a really cute archer. Um, it's got some uh, angel uh, headband at the top. And uh, yeah, it's got uh, some really cute features. I wonder, uh, that's an archer? Yeah. No. It, it's not, it's... Is it Archer? Let me see. It didn't show up in the Archers. Oh, it is an Archer. Yeah. Man, I, don't, I don't get what their release order is anymore. <laughs> yeah, they used to so, release by, by class, right? Yeah. So it looks like uh, it looks like those are like little ears. Like 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 what shows up on anime. Right. Cute. So not wings. Yeah, not wings, but little ears when you look yeah. through the full animation. Oh, right. I, I I'm, I uh, I have to admit I'm good friends with Star, but but no 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 bias aside, I think Star has some of the best like like themed full skins in the game. Like they're all like based around her little um, VTuber avatar. <laughs> yeah, no, um, and I think that's really cool. And, and artists and uh, streamers do this to their collection. Like I'm gonna actually look at Quab All Star's collection. So it's really already when you load up. Her 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 store right now. Like, have you searched for star? So, um, and yeah, make sure you put like the full the full name, or else you're gonna get mixes of uh, other star star like uh, cap captains. Yeah, so it's really, it's just it's, it's really noticeable that it is it is her skins. It's awesome. At least the very first version of the skin. Yeah. Is 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 her? I think once uh, once she has one of it, it then then she ventures away a little bit. Yeah, well, her barbarian's really cool. Look at her barb. That's like a huge. 
360 sword spin. <laughs> she has a lot of skins. Yeah. Holy cow, she has so many skins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I want to go back to uh, 9.5. Is a really nice, again, a pirate's cat that uh, she transferred from pirates, I think. Very cute. Yeah, you need it. it blinks you need to too. Change your scene. You have the. You still have stream readers up. Oh yeah, let's change that skin. Um, yep, and then you got that avocado. I love this. This is like the food skins that Amber stopped uh, releasing, but now we got someone else created food skins. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Nobody has a trademark on food skins. I mean, yeah. I've, I've got, I've got uh, which which one is my food skin? Um, I've got the butter. Yeah, I got the butter. I, I've got some popcorn too, but. Yeah, no, it's good to see some food skins. They're, they're always really cute, and I think... I'm not sure if they do it, but, like, I wonder if they actually send it to that one person that does, like... Uh, there's so many artists that they, they uh, contract and whatnot, but uh, this person does a great did a great job. The artist. It's a cute little avocado. Yeah. And then we have uh, Future Ranger. I think this is probably inspired by a character. Does anyone know what it's inspired by? But it's got some. Uh, it's a cool, cool, some cool effects. The, the down, the downside of when you try to do inspired by characters is if, if they venture way off from the character, it might be hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Because um, yeah. I know, I know. Some people will say, "Oh, but I see such and such type of skins," and you know what happened in the past is what happened in the past, and what happens in the future is what happens in the future. But they are they are mindful of like copyright and things that look too similar to uh, existing IP. Um, so if they say no, they say no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> there's there's no getting around trying to make it look look like the character. If they say no, then you have to venture away from it. I, my suggestion is instead of relying on IP of of others, is try to like. You know, make it your own, make it theme to you, your stream, your content, your community, um, whether it be a meme or, you know, something themed to yourself, like, like Arrow Garfield, he could do, he could do like a lasagna skin. I'm just picking on him because he was like the last person to chat, but, yeah. um, you know, make it theme to your, to your community or to your, to yourself then you won't have an issue. Like I haven't, I haven't had any issues with my skins. They get released in like the four to six week period. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, uh, the only issue I had with a skin was when, um, like they didn't release on time cause they didn't release the skins on time. Like, you know, it was like a midnight or so when they released the skins. So that was the only time I had an issue with a skin. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, I'm going to go through that. The next row here on the, the second row here so we got um daveness with a really love cool it. flag bearer love it and i guess this does look like daveness so that's that's it's good when, when you put it in a, in a different body and wearing what what he i guess uh, one of his shirts and stuff it does is really cool um king jerry do you know what anyone know what this uh the skin is but it's a necromancer, and it's a, somebody said it in the chat, Slayer. Yeah, um, I, I like it. It's, it's, it's cool. Like, necromancer is one of the skins where you can actually be really creative in terms of the effects. Oh, Slash, Slash from Guns, Slash. Guns and Roses. There you go. Garfield knows. Awesome. Garfield knows. Garfield really knows cool. <clears throat> yeah, I like, I like the effects. I like the glow in the guitar. I like the, the green aura. It just adds a lot of uh, adds a lot that it catches your attention on the battlefield. Uh, next, we got Toxic Devil here. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking at the uh, you don't know all, but I did ask him about it. <laughs> I'm looking at that and I'm like that the, that skin really reminds me of a bunch of like Geek of Oz skins, right? The whole monkey. Yeah. That's the I'm guessing I'm guessing that that's um, supposed to be like the the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz. Uh, because that's what it reminds me of just looking at it, fresh eyes. Yeah, super, super cool. Um with that with that weapon, it's probably I wonder if it's a fairy. 
Or is it a, a flying rogue? I'm going to check right now. Oh, it's yeah. a fairy. That's super cool. It's, it is a um, ape fairy. <laughs> it's an ape fairy. Yeah. I was like, that, that, that weapon doesn't quite make sense for a flying rogue. I bet you it's a fairy. Yeah. And yes, it is. It is a fairy. Super cool. I, lo- I love it. I love it. Uh, moving on, we got a um, Roman Edge. With a, I think that's a demon hunter. I'm pretty sure it's a demon hunter. Inspired by Demon Hunter from uh, the World of Warcraft series. Really cool. So the um, next two skins, the next two skins are flying rogues, and I can't, I can't lie, and a narrow wolf's uh, flying animation is awesome. It's Superman's. Yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's super nice because it's like. It, it, it looks so different, right, than other flying rogues, and it's just got this like effect that it just shows it's really flying. But but also uh, the blonde bombers, like the wings are the big floppy ears of the dog, so that's pretty cool too. I can't lie. Yeah. The 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 downside I've always had with flying rogue skins is uh, you don't know what the weapon is looking at the store. Um, right. It doesn't it doesn't show you the weapon, the actual projectile. It's the it's, the, it's like the, the, the thing I complain about the most. <laughs> you don't know the projectile until you see it on the battlefield. Yeah. So I actually I, think, I, uh, like, I know Eidos is, is good for, like, <laughs> this page, but maybe they should just put in the full um, full animations for, for the skins on this page because that way you can see what it does after it. But maybe it's a, it's a GIF limitation, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's just that'd be too much. That'd yeah. be too much for this page. Um, but when you look at the store, you see the animation for the movement, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So next we got uh, Ashley Acidic. This is such a cool skin. It is a healer. It's, it's, a, it's a healer, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, my store mentioned something um, about like something being wrong in, in, in the skin. Uh, my store, what, what, is, uh, what needs to be fixed? It's a high high priestess tarot card. Super cool. Yeah, so I, I've been seeing some of these card skins lately and I love it. Uh, I seen Shan Chan with PCG one. Um I seen this one and the effects are just super cool too because when it goes to the back you can see the tarot card. Oh nice. Ashley River and Matrix over sure are doing tarot card skins. Amazing. Yeah, I think that's really cool. When when the community or friends uh, come together and, and uh get builds uh builds a skin. Um, it's just super cool. So this is like the effects, the tar- tarot card right here. Yep, and it just it. hops along like a card. Yeah. It's supposed to be purple and looks a bit different. Okay. Yeah, but I, I like it. I like it. it. It pops one battlefield and it's fun. Go back to the page. All right. So um, I'm going to let you guys all type in your favorite top skin for the skin award show, faux skin of the week uh type in chat your favorite and i'll uh take a few for a poll so community can vote d1 the wapi one I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm i'm throwing in my hat i like i like wapi skin i like them all i like all the full skins but yeah uh wapi's wapi's warrior swashbuckler like g2 came out really good to me a2 really cool Adore yeah, no, a a2 is a solid choice too. K one's a solid choice. I think they're all solid choices. <laughs> and that's why like I uh like I love skins, but I I, I really miss it when uh we, we go dive deeping into these skins because it really shows appreciation of both the streamer and the the, the, the art team on Stream Raiders. They they spend a lot of time doing these stuff. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh okay, you got keep 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 been coming. Like I, I need more people chatter so I can uh get the top four and get a, a poll going. Uh, for 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 this J one type in chat. What what is your favorite skin of this week? What is what do you think is win the top full skin award at our skin award show? J one's cool. K one yo Kelvin, what's up K one? So we got a uh, two votes for K one. Uh, we got uh, G two on the list. Yeah, C1 turned out really amazing. Yep. It's really good. 
um, D1, G2. Okay. Um, so game, game count, is your is your is your pick um your your pick was a D one, right? Yeah, I, I threw D one in the hat. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um I'm gonna do so type in chat J one. Let's see, okay, so J one is gonna be in the vote. Um K I got two K one, so K one's gonna be in a vote. G1, K, so we got J1, we got uh, K1, and we also have uh, uh, A2, and uh, I'm trying to pick my favorite skin too, so I can put mine on a boat. Ooh, this is, this is a tough week. This is actually pretty good. These are like a good collection. They're always good. It's always tough every week, Proto. They're all good. They're all good. <laughs> the era, the era of phallic bad skins is beyond us because there are so few yeah. skins coming out. They are really good. They're really good skins. Yeah, these are these are amazing. Pepper's yeah. Pepper's Farm remembers the bad days of skins. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put in a. Yeah, G one man, that's too good. But yeah, I'm gonna pick. Uh, my pick is uh, is a C one. I, I like that frog a lot. But uh, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go vote uh, with um, the ones. Uh, I'm not sure the mods. I'm gonna. T I'll type it in chat so it's easier. So uh, mods, please do. Uh, please do a five. Is it three minute poll? Three minute poll for the. A top full skin of this week's um, skin award show. We have the finalists as uh, C1, uh, D1, J1, and K. How many, how many can you vote? Is it five? You can do five or four? I don't know. It's been a while. Four or five, I think. <laughs> K1. So K1, J1, D1, um, C1, and we're going to do one more. Uh, let's see. G2. Let's try this. Do the finalist. Please make a, a three-minute poll, and let's see. These are all super cool skins. Let's go. While we vote for this, I only can probably see it. So C1 is the awkward monster one. Uh, hey, Sickness, what's going on? D1 is the wall PTV. Uh, we got J1 is 9.5. Uh, and we have uh, K1 as the um, avocado. And G2 is the King Jerry skin. Make sure you guys type in... Um, Penguin's always cool. Yep, Penguin's always cool. Um, G1. Which is your favorite? Okay, there we go. The poll's up. Okay, C1, D1, J1, K1. Please vote. Please vote. These are all cool skins. Very cool skins. I keep the page up for you guys. J1 is in the lead right now. Two votes. Avocado's behind. Okay, make sure you guys... uh. Pick and choose your favorite one. Uh, pose up. Please go vote, everyone. The OK one's catching up. The avocado guy is catching up. The Quaxi creative is catching up. There's a tie right now, everyone. We still got uh, two minutes to go. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, I think for epic skins, I might do on a monthly basis, we look at that month's epic skins, and we would choose the top epic skin of the month. Now the, there's probably a few epics this this week, but that's yeah, up, that's yeah. up that's up to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, it's, it's tied right now, everyone. Make sure you guys vote. Whoopies, uh D1 got one vote. We were tied to J1 and K1. J1 and K1 right here. Please vote, everyone. Although I think I think two of them are gold epics. So Yeah. These two are and, and Whoopies are the finalists right now leading the way. We still got a few minutes left. And the winner of this, I'll be giving it one away. 
So make sure you guys choose and stay stick around and win. Make sure someone try to. I don't know G G two got the vote too. G two is really good. We got about a minute left to vote, everyone. Make sure you guys break the tie, everyone. We're gonna determine a winner. <laughs> We're gonna determine a winner from this. Gameka, how's your uh, circulation of air? Are you okay? Right, you can breathe. <laughs> it's it's hot in this mask. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I've I've always been wanting to um, figure out how to get better ventilation in here. Come on, vote, 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 everyone, get in the vote. You should be a fan. Vote, everyone, please vote. Yep. Put in a little PC. Fan break the tie. Or... Break the tie, everyone. Break the tie. Break the tie, everyone. Come on, get in the tie. Or else we're gonna do another round two of voting. Break the tie. Yo, J one gets one more tie. There we go. J one. We have got thirty seconds left. Let's see. What happens? Little kitty cat for nine point five or the avocado. Yo, who's trolling right now? <laughs> Someone just tied the avocado. <laughs> Somebody <and> tied it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Look, that's funny. Somebody's trolling. Okay, y'all so, trolled it. <laughs> Mod, just need another poll. Just between those two, J one and K one are the finalists. So it's the ju the ju the jungle primary as they call it. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, while we do a revote between a tiebreaker for J one K one, we move on to the epic skins. Um, so epic skins right now we have. Ooh, I think this really catches my eyes: the Roman Edge epic skin. I love it. <clears throat> Super cool. The punch is just like in your face. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I think that's. A, yeah, that's an all night. Um, is this is this game cow? I am. I am game cow. I'm not in disguise. This is what I look really look like. <laughs> <laughs> I am a cow. I am a cow. But yeah, I think that's a. Um, that is not game cow. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, no, that's a. That's an all might skin from uh, My Hero Academia. Right, that's, that's, that's about as non copyright as you're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> uh, Vibbo's got a really cool dragon. I like how it is the same. Like I guess like kind of like is it is it kind of like inspired by maybe Sp uh, Spyro or someone? Like this is a cool dragon, the pink purple dragon. I think I think it's a Pokemon. Oh, yo, nice. Yeah, cool. Right? Isn't Dratini? Dratini goes from like a uh, tiny worm like yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. to right. like a uh, real dragon. I mean, it's not Dratini explicitly, but it kind of reminds me of that evolution where you have a more of a worm like dragon and now a fat big dragon. Yeah. Spir yeah, yeah. It's like Spyro and Dragonite together. Really Combined, cool. yeah. Love it. Uh, Future Ranger. This is a really cool Halloween skin. This is uh, the movie Halloween, right? Looks very inspired by it. I mean, yeah. that's his face. That's his face. But <laughs> yeah, that's his face. Uh, but like, yeah, it goes from. I don't know. It looks like that's a gaming keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a streamer. Future Ranger turns into. Um, I didn't. I didn't realize. Uh, Roman Edge is all might like gives a little thumbs up. Oh yeah, that's pretty funny. Look, look at look at it. Oh <laughs> One God, pixel thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> the One little thumbs up here. That's hilarious. That, 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 that's so lost in the pixels, but it's pretty cool when you see it. <laughs> yeah. And look at the aura too. Like it's got really cool aura. It's like smoke coming out. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah that is a cool skin. Love it. The Captain NK of this shark is really cool. I think. Captain NK has a lot of shark skins, and this is he's got a baby shark skin, and this is just a working out shark, right? Life lifeguard shark to working out. Captain K's, uh, Captain K's. Actually, that's the that's like a, a left shark wearing uh, like all the stuff in the pool to help you swim, like the little the little donut thing, and like it's got the it's got the shoulder like arm, yep, arm floaties. 
<laughs> I love it. It's pretty cool. So I think the winner of the poll is going to be J1, the 9.5. Cool. Cool. Rafinha, uh, this is one of her. This is a good time. Easter, right? It's Easter, and one of the Rafinha bunnies are out. I think that is one of the. I'm not sure yeah, which she, skin that is, but she, is it a, is it a she, bomber she, or what is it? That's her bomber. She yeah. made her bomber, uh, the, her epic bomber gold. Very cool, very cool. Goes oh. from little cute rabbit to like sensational rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I like also the effects too. The aura is like Easter colors. And you got the another Orphina epic gold inspired by the. I forgot the show, but she told me this is inspired by someone in one of the, the shows. Oh, um. It's like a I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it because they go from hand in pocket to holding a book. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's super cool. I'm gonna run a giveaway for 9.5's uh, um, full skin. So for those that are here, uh, you guys will win a skin. Make sure you get in here. We go back to that page. You'll win the winner, which is the 9.5 Stream Pirates inspired. Uh, what is Stream Pirate skin? And it got turns over here. And I'll get a. A giveaway tool going uh, on Nightbot. <clears throat> We're gonna get the giveaway going. The keyword is keyword for this giveaway. It's exclamation mark. Oh crap! Exclamation mark skin. I want to win that skin like an exclamation mark skin <clears throat> that is the keyword make sure you get in to win this amazing 9.5 skin but yeah game cow um yeah what's um what do you think about the dungeons coming up? We got dungeons coming back up on uh, pretty much on the 19, eh? Oh, I'm excited for it. So, sorry, I had to take the mask off for a oh, No worries, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, I'm excited for it. Yeah. We got some great news. Uh, dungeons coming back on the 19th. Uh, we're going to get unlock some bones. And then uh, I think it increased the challenge the difficulty. And there's going to be a new patch for their memory leaks, apparently. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm excited for... I don't know about memory leaks so much as just fasting, faster loading. Um, the, the, the biggest thing, the biggest issues that String Raiders has is basically when you, when you install a game, it loads, like, every skin in the game, like, down to your computer. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So that's a that's a very large package, and um, yeah, it's a very it's a very large database that that the the script has to run through, and that's why you have issues with like skins not showing after a while, because uh, there's like some bad race logic going on in terms of looking to see where the skins are and what what needs to be loaded. Yeah, that's that's where all the pink squares pink squares means the skin's missing, but black squares just means that like it couldn't find anything. So that's why that's why like you have issues there. That's why some people have issues loading it because it's just, it's just a large it's a large game when you when you put every every skin in memory. Yep. So they've they've been they have, I know they've been they've been like working on it for like a, a year, uh, fixing it. So yeah, hopefully uh, they do. Uh... Get all that sorted out, and um, that'll be fun. All right, I'm going to grow it in five, four, three, two. Last chance, exclamation mark skin for chance to win. Um, 9.5's skin. Which one? The top skin of the Skin Award show today. Just super cool. 
Uh, yeah, this this has been really fun. I think I think we might do it this try to aim to do this every week. All right, this is a nine point five warrior, and we're gonna roll the giveaway. Good luck, everyone. Angel Dodger. <laughs> GGs. Angel Dodger, message me, um, and I'll make sure I gift the skin for you uh, for nine point five. But uh, yeah, Game Cow. Um, I think the future of Stream Raiders, I'm pretty excited of uh, the Frank Bring Versus back. Uh, and even the new guided thing they mentioned about, it's pretty awesome. Are you uh, pretty yeah. excited about that? Yeah, they're bringing, so they're, they're, uh, they're bringing, um, let's see. So Dungeons, Dungeons is soon, right? They, they mentioned, did they give a date for Dungeons 12? Mm, I think they might have. Did somewhere? I I thought it sounded like it was between in the in between uh, campaigns, uh, the vanilla period. Right. Ooh, what skin did Angel win? Angel, you won the uh, nine point five little pirate kitty. Yeah. But uh, and uh, Kelsey's got runner up. This is actually a really uh, this is actually a very uh, good good uh. Zoom in of the the, the skins because nine point five is actually the top skill of the week. Runner up is Cow C X Creative, and we got an honorable mention for Starvis as well for <laughs> skin nine. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Game so Cow, I think I want to take a little screenshot. So before we end the stream, can you uh, see your cow face one more time so I can do a little tweet on here? <laughs> oh yeah, let me put it on. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna. This is probably the end of my stream. Uh, as those that don't know, those that know Garfield. He's on the crest for the check. Uh, we'll be sending some love to Garfield. Uh, he was hanging out with us earlier, but uh, we're gonna hang out here. And uh, everyone, uh, make sure you guys check out uh, Game Cow TV for those that don't know. He's a super amazing friend. Um, he's a part of the HAP community. He's a big, really supportive member of the CTV community as well. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions for me and him, feel free to let go. Oh, this is a nice picture. 